Hey guys, this is Sharkula. I'm going to be doing a video on a new game called Cursed Painting. Um, not sure how to explain it, but um. Let's see if I can do it. Open cursed painting. Welcome back, dear listener. Now, let us pick up from where we last left off. Would you prefer to be known as the adventurer, the noble, or the thief? Adventurer. The adventurer? I thought I recognized that steady gaze. Excellent, dear listener. Let us begin. Just remember, if you get lost at any point, say either, help, or, repeat, and I will assist you the best I can. The hero of this particular story often found herself out on the road, seeking adventure. But of course, dear listener, Seeking and finding are two entirely different things. Having traveled long and far, our adventurer had helped a great many people in need. The thing was, the deeds did not quite fit the bill of that of a great adventurer, such as herself. She thought, for example, about the time she defeated the giant rats in the tavern. That was hairy. The spiders in the cave, scary. And frogs at the wedding, quite nasty indeed. Surely there had to be more to the life than that of an adventure. She thought, and never mind the fact that most people can't stand the sight of rats, bugs and ants and people turning into frogs. <laughs> After a few days of travel, you finally reach a town. In need of a new weapon, you enter the local general store. The coin you have on you should be enough to purchase either a sword, bow, or magic book. For an overview of the weapons, say, tutorial. Otherwise, what weapon should you buy? A bow, a sword, or a magic book? Sword. You take a sword from the counter and pay the store owner 50 gold. As you leave the store, you hear the clashing of swords. At the outskirts of town, you spot guards fighting what looks to be bandits. You take your new weapon and dash into the fray, saving an injured soldier from a fateful blow. But now, and personally, you see that these are no mere bandits. Standing in front of you is an undead abomination, wielding a huge axe. Enraged by your intervention, the undead now shifts its attention towards you, and you ready yourself for combat. This is your first fight. If you want to hear the tutorial, say, tutorial. Otherwise, try saying, attack. Attack. You roll 16. You deal 3 damage. Your turn. Action 2. Attack. You roll 15. You deal 5 damage. The undead rolls 13. Oh. And deals 6 damage. Round 2. Your health is 11. Your turn. Action 1. Attack. You roll 18. You deal 5 damage. The undead lose its balance. You have defeated the monster. You gained 100 experience. You leveled up. You are now level 2. You can now increase one of your stats. 
Different stats will help you make different skill checks throughout your journey. When you have 3 points in a skill, you will unlock a special ability. Because you choose the adventurer, you currently have 2 in toughness. Power is for damage with weapons. Agility is for landing attacks. Toughness is for more health. Which stat would you like to increase? Power. Agility or toughness? Toughness. Your toughness is now 3. You have unlocked regeneration. Now after each battle you will regain health based on your toughness. Your max health is now 21. You'll need another 350 experience to gain a level. You restore 3 of your health thanks to regeneration. You catch your breath. As you look up, you see that the rest of the undead have been taken care of by the guards. One of them walks up to you. You can tell by the armor that he is of higher rank than the others. Thank you for the help. It's not every day a stranger helps out like this. If you would follow me to the town hall, the mayor of the town will want to reward you. What should you do? The undead you killed might have something on it. Try saying, search, to search it. The huge man is waiting for your answer. Try saying, talk, to talk to him. Talk. If you would, the mayor is waiting at the town hall. Dear listener, sometimes a yes or a no is all you need. Yes. Great. Then let us be off. The man signals for you to follow him. Excited, you decide to do just that. One can only hope you finally find that adventure you were hoping for. As you walk towards the town hall, a suspicious looking individual start walking beside you. An adventurer? Yeah. Have I got a deal for you? A starter pack of sorts. The man says, showing a crooked grin. Weapons, potions, gold. Even a handful of those dark shards you can find in the woods. All yours, my friend. For a price, of course. Yeah. If you already own some of this content, you will instead be provided an equivalent value in gold coins, up to 150. Do you want to hear more about the man's deal? No. Great. Then let us be off. The man signals for you to follow him. Excited, you decide to do just that. One can only hope you finally find that adventure you were hoping for. As you walk towards the town hall, a suspicious looking individual start walking beside you. An adventurer? Yeah. <clears throat> Have I got a deal for you? A starter pack of sorts. The man says, showing a crooked grin. Weapons, potions, gold, even a handful of those dark shards you can find in the woods. All yours, my friend. For a price, of course. Yeah. If you already own some of this content, you will instead be provided an equivalent value in gold coins, up to 150. Do you want to hear more about the man's deal? Yes. This will give you access to all of the starter weapons, 10 soul shards, 2 health potions, and a base amount of 75 gold. Prime members save 59 Canadian cents. Oh. Without Prime, your price is 2 Canadian dollars and 99 cents plus tax. Would you like to buy it? Check the Alexa app for terms. No. Okay. The man's eyes narrow. Fine. Be like that. When you change your mind, you can say, What can I buy? The man backs off into the crowd and disappears. After following the man to the town hall, you find yourself sitting in a comfy chair in the mayor's office, waiting for your reward. The man you met earlier told you to wait here while you went looking for the mayor, who had not been at his office when you arrived. You found out on the way that the man in question was in fact the captain of the guards. You wondered how it came that no one in town you had passed on your way to the town hall seemed worried about the undead attack. Even the town mayor had gone missing but everyone in town seemed so calm. 
Hello there. You snap out of your thoughts as the doors to the office opens and a middle-length man approach you from the hall. I am so sorry for the wait, dear visitor. I was out for a stroll on the beach when I heard of the news. I heard we almost lost a man but in the very last second a brave hero came in to save the day. Can I offer you something to drink? Would you like something to drink? Yes. Excellent. What would you like? Tea, coffee, milk, or just plain water? Water. As they say, remember to stay hydrated. A servant brings in your drinks. All right, let's talk about your reward. The man reaches under his desk and brings forth a coin purse. 50 gold coins for your deeds of defeating the undead. Not a small amount, right? You could take that and go. But there is more where that came from. If you're interested, tell me. Do you know of the legend of the painting? No. Have you heard the legend? Yes or no? No. Understandable. It's not a common story. But let me relay it to you. Once upon a time, at the end of the world, where the map continent ends and the bottomless sea begins, stood a desolate castle, carved out of solid black rock far above where the salty winds slam into knife-sharp cliffs. Legends speak of a great leader. But there is no one left to tell its tale anymore. Fact is, there is hardly anyone left in these barren lands at all. The castle, long since deserted and overgrown by thistle and brush, holds but one item. Left in the now silent throne room, over the stairs to the throne, hangs a large oil painting depicting a portrait of a once great leader. In the portrait's center, tall and pale, stands a queen, her long black sprawling hair covers her royal armor. In her left hand she seems to be holding broken iron shackles, and in her right hand, the Book of Law and Common Rule. Behind her, an army of undead soldiers are seen to be bowing to her. This is the story of a great leader. This is the story of you. As you hear, the legend speaks of a painting. And according to the legend, whoever finds that painting is destined to rule this land. And I think that you Dear adventurer, is that person? The mayor looks down. The castle that is spoken of in the legend is located close to town. It's where those unholy beings came from. I would ask you to traverse the dungeon. Find the painting. Prove that you are the rightful ruler and put an end to the curse that has haunted these lands for centuries. What say you, dear adventurer? Will you help us? A quest such as this sounds like everything you have ever dreamed of. But, are you really ready to risk your life for this town? Yes. Excellent. Oh, thank you. Please make use of our town to ready yourself for anything you may find down there. You accept the quest from the mayor. You take the gold and head out of the town hall. You now have 50 gold. As you push open the front door, you find the townsfolk have pretty much already cleared the streets of the previous chaos. An auspicious routine activity for these people, it seems. You have been fully healed and your health is 21. You walk to the center of town, where the town well is located. There is a donation box next to it. From the charity box, you can see the town shop, located to the west. The pub is to the east. And the forest, the way to the dungeon, is to the south. The town hall where you came from is to the north. From here you can go to the pub, the shop, the town hall, the forest, or the charity box. 
Where will you go? The forest. You step outside the town, towards the forest. Please, a moment of your time. The gatekeeper stops you. You best be careful out here. There have been monsters running around these parts lately. We've dealt with all of them for now. But just in case, if you see any, please take care of them. They attack our town during the night if we leave them be. Did you get that, dear listener? It sounds like the town is used to having monster problems. If any monsters are left alive on the weekends, they will raid the town charity box. If the town's founds gets too low, prices will go up. Cooperate with other players in the community and hunt down the monsters haunting the forest. What will you do? Search the forest? Go to the dungeon, go to the mountain, talk to the guard, or go back to town. Search the forest. You climb up a hill and suddenly find yourself above the forest canopy. In the distance, you see a large clearing. In the center sits a mound of ruined stone and brick. Ancient pillars and walls now topple, are still struggling to stand. That must be where the entrance to the dungeon lies, and within its darkness, the cursed painting resides. After a while, you climb down from the hill, and back onto the forest path again. As you scout the surroundings, the road splits into three. You think you saw something moving to the east. Will you go north, south? East or leave? East. Suddenly, out of nowhere, stumbling out of the thicket, is an undead abomination. It charges at you. You are fighting the abomination. The first round is yours. Your health is 21. Your turn. Action 1. Fight. Roll 21. You deal 3 damage. Your turn. Action 2. Attack. You roll 18. You deal 3 damage. The abomination rolls 3. It misses. Down 2. Your health is 21. Your turn. Action 1. Attack. You roll 19. You deal 3 damage. Your turn. Action 2. Attack. You roll 8. You miss. The abomination rolls one. Boom. It misses. Round three. Your health is 21. Your turn. <coughs> Action one. Attack. You roll six. You miss. Your turn. Action two. Attack. You roll 13. You deal four damage. The abomination rolls 12. Oh. And deal seven damage. Round four. Your health is 14. Your turn. Action one. Attack. You roll 12. You deal 2 damage. Your turn. Action 2. Attack. Come on, get a good one. You roll 18. Yes! You deal 7 damage. The abomination loses balance. Yes.
You gain 200 experience. You'll need another 150 experience to gain a level. You restore 3 of your health thanks to regeneration. You earned 8 gold. You now have 58 gold. You also find 1 soul shard. You now have 1 soul shards. These strange midnight blue shards give off an eerie glow. They are cold to the touch, and nothing reflects off their smooth surface. You do not know their purpose. Huh. But perhaps, perhaps a blacksmith could know more about them. Will you continue the monster hunt? Yes. While searching, you find a gold pouch. There was 15 gold in it. You now have 73 gold. You walk down the road less traveled as it splits in three. You think you saw something moving to the north. Will you go north, south, west, or leave? North. Suddenly, out of nowhere, stumbling out of the thicket, is an undead abomination. It charges at you. You are fighting the abomination. The first round is yours. Your health is 17. Your turn. Action 1. Fight. You roll 5. Oh, I missed you miss. Shoot. Your turn. Action 2. Attack. You roll 20. Ooh. You deal two damage. That's the it. abomination rolls a critical hit. Oh no. And Dang deals it. 11 damage. Shoot. You are hurt. To drink a healing potion. Say, drink potion. Round two. Your health is six. Your turn. Action one. Drink potion. You are out of healing potions. Your turn. Action one. Attack. Shoot. You roll ten. Oh. Yes. You deal four damage. Your turn. Action two. Attack. You roll eight. Oh uh, no. The abomination rolls a. Oh. oh, I missed. It misses. Yes. Round three. Your health is six. Your turn. Action one. Attack. Oh boy. You roll sixteen. Yes. You deal five damage. Your turn. Action two. Attack. You roll 17. Ooh. Yes. You deal seven damage. The abomination loses balance. Yes. I oh, got him. Yes. You gain 200 experience. You leveled up. You are now level 3. What stat would you like to increase? Um, Power. Agility or toughness? Power. Your power is now 2. Your max health is now 22. Yes. You'll need another 550 experience to gain a level. You restore 3 of your health thanks to regeneration. You earn 9 gold. You now have 82 gold. Will you continue the monster hunt? Yes. As you walk through the forest, you suddenly notice the mushrooms surrounding the area. But too late, as they swell up and spit out their poisonous spores. You just have to make it out of the spore cloud. But for how long can you hold your breath? Let's see. 
You managed to hold your breath long enough to make it out of the spore cloud, unharmed. You catch your breath and continue onwards. You gain 30 experience. Ooh. You'll need another 520 experience to gain a level. You walk down a forest path with forts ahead of you. You think you saw something moving to the west. Will you go east, west, or leave? West. Suddenly, out of nowhere, stumbling out of the thicket, is an undead abomination. Uh oh. It charges at you. You are fighting the abomination. The first round is yours. Your health is nine. Ooh. Your turn. Action one. Attack. You roll seven. Oh, I missed. You missed. Dang it. Your turn. Action two. Oh. Attack. Come on, don't miss. You roll six. Oh, I missed again. You miss. Shoot. The abomination rolls one. Ooh. Okay. Missed. It misses. Whew. Round two. Your health is nine. Your turn. Action one. Attack. You roll one. Oh. You miss. No. Dang it. Your turn. Action two. Attack. Please don't roll a high number. You roll 21. Yes. You deal three damage. The abomination rolls four. Oh. Oh, I missed. Yes. Round three. Your health is nine. Your turn. Action one. Attack. Come on, roll a good number. You roll eight. Ooh. Oh, I didn't get him. You missed. Dang it. Your turn. Oh, Action still two. Still my turn. Attack. You roll one. Oh no. no. Missed him. Missed. The abomination rolls one. Oh. Okay. It misses. Whew. Round four. Your health is nine. Your turn. Action one. Attack. Come on, roll a good number. You roll one. Oh no. no. Oh, keep missing miss. him. Um, shoot. Your turn. Action two. Attack. Come on, come on, come on. Let me get him. You roll seven. Oh, <laughs> no. You miss. Ugh. The abomination rolls a. Oh, uh, no. Oh, I missed. It misses. Whew. Round Come five. On. Your health is nine. This Your is turn. Big one. Action one. Attack. Oh, excuse me. You roll one. You miss. Oh, man. Your turn. Action two. Attack. You roll 19. Oh, got him. You deal nine damage. Oh, the abomination rolls three. <gasps> please, please, please. Yes, it misses. <sighs> Round six. Your health is nine. Your turn. Action one. Attack. You roll 13. Ooh. Got him. You deal 7 damage. The abomination loses balance. Yes. Got him, got him, got him. Yes. You gain 200 experience. 
You'll need another 320 experience to gain a level. Yes, yes, yes. You restore three of your health thanks to regeneration. Yay. You earn six gold. You now have 88 gold. Will you continue the monster hunt? Yes. So it's my... You continue exploring the forest and come across a crossroad. You think you saw something moving to the west. Will you go north, east, west, or leave? West. All of a sudden, there's the crack of a branch from behind you. You swivel around, stand face to face, with a bandit, brandishing a spear. You are fighting the bandit. The first round is yours. Your health is 12. Your turn. Action 1. Attack. I hope I can manage to do this. You roll 14. <laughs> you miss. Uh. Your turn. Action 2. Attack. You roll 15. Oh. <laughs> you miss. The Damn it. rolls 20. Oh. <laughs> And deal seven damage. Oh, sh sugar. Round two. Your health is five. Oh, your turn. sugar. Action one. Attack. I don't know if I can do this. I'm gonna die. You roll 13. <laughs> oh, man. Your turn. Action two. Attack. Come on, let me get him this time. You roll 23. Ooh. Haha. Yeah. <laughs> you deal four damage. The bandit rolls eight. Oh no. It misses. Round three. Your health is five. Your turn. Action one. Attack. Oh, let me do this. You roll one. Oh, shit. You miss. Shit, shit, shit. Your turn. Action oh. two. Attack. Come on, let me do this. You roll seven. Ah. Yeah. Uh. The bandit rolls 25. <gasps> and deals 5 damage. Oh, sugar. I'm dead. You fall to the ground. And the bandit lunges at you. <laughs> oh, dear listener. You are dead. This was not supposed to happen. Let's turn back a few pages. You return to the outskirt of the forest. Okay. What will you do? Search the forest? Go to the dungeon. Go to the mountain. Talk to the guard. Or go back to town. Talk to the guard. Man, I could use a drink right now. What will you do? Search the forest? Go to the dungeon. Go to the mountain. Talk to the guard. Or go back to town. Talk to the guard. It's good to see you are doing well. What will you do? Search the forest? Go to the dungeon. Go to the mountain. Talk to the guard. Or go back to town. Mm, search the forest. As you venture deeper into the forest, you spot a figure between the trees, moving up a rocky incline. The only way to catch up with it would be by climbing the steep hillside. In the spur of the moment, you instinctively decide to give chase. You made it up the hill without a scratch. You head in the direction you saw the figure moving. You gain 30 experience. You'll need another 290 experience to gain a level. You set off into the unexplored forest. After some time of searching fruitlessly, the ghastly howl drowns the sound of first. A shapeless worm comes lounging out from in between the trees. You are fighting the wraith. The first round is yours. Your health is one. 
Your turn. Action one. Attack. You roll seven. <laughs> you miss. Your turn. Action two. Attack. You roll twelve. You miss. The wraith rolls nine. It misses. Round two. Your health is one. Your turn. Action one. Attack. You roll ten. You miss. Your turn. Action two. Attack. You roll ten. You miss. The wraith rolls seven. Oh, shit. It misses. <sighs> Round three. Your health is one. Your turn. Action one. Attack. You roll one. <laughs> you miss. Your turn. Action two. Attack. You roll 17. You deal 8 damage. The wraith rolls 8. It misses. Round 4. Your health is 1. Your turn. Action 1. Attack. Uh, give me a high number. You roll 15. Yes. You deal 7 damage. The wraith lose its balance. Oh my gosh, I got him. You gain 100 experience. You'll need another 190 experience to gain a level. You restore 3 of your health thanks to regeneration. You earn 5 gold. You now have 93 gold. Will you continue the monster hunt? Yes. You walk along a wildlife trail and come across a fork in the path. You think you saw something moving to the north. Will you go north, south, or leave? North. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Stumbling out of the thicket is an undead abomination. It charges at you. You are fighting the abomination. The first round is yours. Your health is four. Your turn. Action one. Attack. One more time. You roll five. You miss. Your turn. Action two. Attack. You roll 15. You deal seven damage. The abomination rolls a critical hit. Oh no. And deals eight damage. You fall to the ground. And the abomination lunges at you. Oh, dear listener, you are dead. This was not supposed to happen. Let's turn back a few pages. You return to the outskirt of the forest. What will you do? Search the forest? Go to the dungeon, go to the mountain, talk to the guard, or go back to town. Stop. Until next time, here with me. Okay, guys. That's...
the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Check out my other videos. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.